In August 2011, a 19-year-old psychologist trainee named Olga Moskalyova went camping in the woods with her stepfather Igor. Igor went to retrieve a fishing pole left in the tall reeds of grass next to the river where they had set up camp. That's when a brown mother bear spontaneously jumped out from the tall grass and attacked Igor. The mother bear reportedly broke his neck and smashed his skull. Having witnessed the attack, Olga, Igor's stepdaughter, attempted to flee the scene but was only able to run about 70 yards before the powerful brown mother bear grabbed her leg and forced her to the ground. At first, the creature toyed with her, biting and chewing on Olga's leg. Then she managed to call her mother, Tatiana, several times during the prolonged attack. Olga screamed, Mom, the bear's eating me. Mom, it's such agony. Please help. Suddenly, the phone went dead. In a state of shock, Tatiana frantically called her husband Igor, not knowing he had already been killed by the raging beast. Tatiana then alerted the police and her relatives in her Russian village of the attack. Tatiana begged them to rush to the river where Igor and Olga had gone to retrieve their fishing rod. In a second phone call to her mother, a weak Olga gasped. Mom, the bears are back. She came back and brought her three babies. They're eating me. Tatiana recalls hearing her daughter's voice in horror and the background chewing and growling of the bears. I could have died right then and there from shock, Olga said. Finally, in her final phone call to her mother, placed almost an hour after the first, Olga sensed she was on the verge of death. With the bears having left her for dead, Olga says, Mom, it's not hurting anymore. I don't feel the pain. Forgive me for everything. I love you so much. The call cuts out, and that was the last time Tatiana ever spoke to her daughter. 30 minutes after Olga's final call, Igor's brother, Andre, arrived with Russian police to find the mother bear still devouring Igor's body. Badly mauled, Olga was also dead. Six hunters were sent in by emergency services to kill the mother bear and her three cubs. This double killing is one of many cases in the recent outbreaks of bear attacks reported across Russia. Tatiana said that Olga was looking forward to her life as a psychologist and was in a happy relationship with her boyfriend, Stepan. My daughter was such fun. She was so cheerful, friendly, and warm. She had graduated from music school and just days before the bear attack, she had gotten her driver's license, Tatiana says. Both her husband and daughter were due to be buried on August 17, 2011. Unfortunately, this isn't the only fatality caused by bear attacks in recent Russian history. In August 2019, a 14-year-old schoolgirl named Sonia Chernigava was beaten, clawed, and chewed to death by a brown bear that attacked her when she went out to her local market for snacks and groceries. Sonia died from fatal neck, face, and head lacerations, which were initially believed to have been caused by a wolf. However, animal footprints later found at the scene revealed that the suspected creature in the attack was in actuality a bear. The bear also ripped out most of her hair in the attack, so much so that her father, Sergei, didn't initially recognize his daughter. Sergei had gone out to search for Sonya after she failed to return from the local shop at around 10 p.m. Sonya had gone out to the market at around 9 while there was still daylight in the isolated Russian village. Sonya's mutilated corpse had been originally discovered by local teenage boys. Sonya's father, Sergei, says, I did not want to believe that it was my daughter in front of my eyes. Her face was all disfigured and it was impossible to recognize her. She was dressed just like all the other girls, only her jacket was recognizable. It was all clear when I dialed her mobile number and the phone rang in the pocket of her jacket. The village had been under attack from both bears and wolves in recent weeks. The bear was more likely seeking waste food from rubbish when it attacked Sonya at around 9.45 p.m. Nikolay Gorbanov, the chairman of Udorsky District Society of Hunters and Fishermen, told local news that most likely the bear was eating something in a dumpster when the girl happened to be close by and disturbed the predator's feast. Experienced hunters have studied the scene of the accident and confirmed they were bear footprints. They concluded that a wolf cannot disfigure a human being in such a way that Sonya was found. Such wounds can only be inflicted by a predator with large claws. The girl's injuries were also consistent with those found in a bear attack, with her scalped head and chewed neck being the most distinguishable injuries. Sonya was a model student who took an active role in local drama and music performances. She was set to turn 15th later on in that month. A criminal investigation has been officially opened and will examine if local officials took sufficient action to deter wild animals from the Russian village. Charges could be brought on for official negligence if sufficient incriminating evidence is found. Apart from recent sightings of bears and wolves, wild animals have terrorized this particular Russian village for years. Hunters are expected to be given licenses to kill local bears following the attack on Sonya. 
At the time of filming this video, Olga Moskalyova would have been 28 years old, while Sonia Chernigova would have been 15 years old.